Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. If you are a first time visitor, welcome and thank you. I want to share with you a purchase that I made from Tuesday morning. I recently, yay, received a gift card from some friends and what? better place to use up a gift card than at Tuesday morning. So I am pleased to say I didn't use up the entire gift card. So that means I get to go back another day and continue to use it, right? So yay for me on that. But I did use mm, about $40 on it. I know that's crazy, but I did. I used up about $40 on the gift card. So I have about $40 of crafty goodness here on my desk I want to share with you. So um, looking around my Tuesday morning, I saw a lot of um, Maya Road. I saw a lot of the Imaginisque um, Ephemera. And I saw a couple of... Um, Martha Stewart paper pads. So um, I don't know if that's the trend now in all of the Tuesday mornings, but that's the trend in my area. So let me share with you. For my road, saw this. I thought this was super cute. Of course, picked it up. And here is the skew. 99 cents. How do you leave this behind? You don't. So now I have it. <laughs> also, from Maya Road. Love these little crown paper clips. And there is the skew. 99 cents for six paper clips. How can I leave that behind? I couldn't. So <laughs> now I have it. Also, Maya Road, I found these kind of like um uh, acetate ephemera. This is Maya Road for the journey of a lifetime. And I love it because hopefully you can make it out. It's little light bulbs. How fun is that? And you get, I want to say, oh, five styles, 15 pieces. It says it right there. Five styles, 15 pieces. And there is the skew. So, of course, I picked that up. They had a lot of this at uh, my Tuesday morning. And again, Maya Road, more of kind of like this acetate or clear um, ephemera. These are typewriters, like vintage, vintage style typewriters. Do you see that? Love that. And here, again, five styles, 15 pieces. And there's the skew. Fun, fun, fun. More Maya Road, and these are stick pins or button pins, they're calling them. Button pins. And I do sew, so I thought these would be fun for pinning my projects. And I also make stick pins, so I could also try to use them um, for a couple of stick pins. But I think these are more practical for uh, my sewing. I have to make a new banner. I'm stowing up a new banner for my Girl Scouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super excited about that. Now that they are bridging to brownies, they graduate to a new banner. So that is a project I am going to be working on during the Girl Scout season break. So I think... Oh, no. Here's another Maya Road. Here's another Maya Road. More of the clear acetates. And these are photo frames. Six styles, 12 pieces, so two of each style. There's the skew. And you get a smaller and a larger one. The smaller one says happy and the bigger one says love. So I thought that would be fun to play with. I found um, some glitter elastic in different sizes and different colors so let me collect those and share them with you i recently got one of those eileen hall traveler notebook dies so i anticipate making quite a few of those so i picked up these elastic glitter 
um, bands to use for that. So here's a 5 8 wide uh, glitter elastic band. This one is purple and you get a yard. Can you see that purple? And the skew is super tiny. Look how tiny that is. There it is. Got it in that purple. Here it is in this pretty pink. And I'll sh again, tiny skew. There it is in pink. Here it is in this awesome, like, uh, green color. I love that green. Jade. They're calling it jade. There's the skew. This one is a ruffle elastic. Thought that was pretty awesome. And it's in line. There's the skew. And again, you get one yard. And this is in half an inch thick or wide, right? And then this awesome kind of polka dot. They're calling it large dot lemon. <laughs> And this is a half inch. They're calling it fold over elastic. There's the skew. So that's all of the elastic. Then I found um, some additional ephemera, ephemera. Let me collect that so I can share it with you. This is um, these are bow. These are tags actually by Seven Gypsies. There's my Jinxie girl. <laughs> Oh boy. Boy, she is feisty now. That medication has her feisty. <laughs> so that is fun. Did I show you the skew? Here's the skew on that one. Goodness gracious. I gotta ask the vet what's in that med because woo, this is by Dear Lizzie. These are die cut phrases. I'll show you the skew. I love all the different colors. And these are the phrases. Live colorfully. You are my happy. So in love. The dream is real. I love that one. Happy thoughts. Cool. Be daring. Stay wild. Say yes. This is great. You are lovely and good vibes. So that's really fun for $1.49. And this one, I think I had this one before and I sent it out um, as part of a rack. I think I also have this paper collection as well. These are 12 pieces and it's um, kind of like a princess tea party collection. Can we see that little princess? Adorable. There's the skew. This one is fun too. This is another ephemera pack. Um, you get 30 pieces, and this is um, a pirate theme. I don't have kind of like a lot of boy-themed stuff, because as you can imagine, my Girl Scouts are girls, right? <laughs> I don't have any sons. I just have my little girl. But um, my niece recently had a little boy, so I have to start stocking up. So then when I send that little boy Christmas cards or birthday cards or whatever occasion cards, I have something to make for him. So that's why I picked this up. Check that out. Here's a 4th of July themed ephemera pack. This is by Pebbles. Here's the skew. And this is what comes in this pack. And I think that's it for the ephemera. I found this cute girl um, embellishment pack. Um, it says ephemera assorted. But you got some enamel dots, some hearts, confetti. I love the colors. It's kind of like a, a light blue and a gold. And you get some paper clips in the shape of bows. So that's pretty awesome for $1.49. Here's the skew. That's pretty cool. It's by Crate Paper. Cute girl. 
Love that. Then they had some um, vintage trims by Ken Oliver. And actually, this is also Maya Road. So I picked up two, the two that I saw. I saw this pack here. And you get two yards. And it's three quarters of an inch wide. See? Those are the details. It's called scallop dot trim. And here's the skew. That's pretty, pretty cool looking. I thought this would be fun for um, my paper dolls. I thought that would be a lot of fun for them. Dress them up a little bit. And then I also found this vintage trim. Ken Oliver Vintage Trims by Maya Road. This one is called Mums. Here's the skew. Got a little too close there. Can we see that? There it is. Mums trim. And you get two yards of that. So for a dollar forty-nine, two yards, can't complain. Then I found some uh, boutique uh, trim by Doodlebug, and this is their Easter assortment. There's the skew. I don't know, I was on the fence about this one because I mean, yeah, you get 14 feet of trim, but a dollar ninety-nine. I don't know. I just want better deals from Tuesday morning. This is not a terrible deal. I just want a better deal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Love, love, love the different trims. Love these little flowers right here. And look at this. Fun trim. But I was really, I was on the fence about that one. I really, really was. Found some Martha Stewart Crafts stickers. And I was on the fence about this too. But ultimately caved and got them. Because I think this will make fun ATCs or fun IC. There's skew. Again, I just wanted a better deal. Why can't I have a better deal? <laughs> I know, I'm a little crazy. But I mean, Tuesday morning, come on. We want deals. That's why we go there. That's why I go there. I want to feel like I'm getting these amazing deals. And sometimes I don't feel so, you know, so amazing. Like, it's not all that amazing of a deal. It's a good deal, but I want amazing. Here is some of this boa trim. And I picked this up for um, my Dollar Tree Angel, which I have been wanting to do a craft or create with me series on, but I just haven't had the time. But I saw this and I thought it would be perfect for my pink angel. So this is going to be put to the side until I get to that project. You get, let's see, 1.5 inch feather boa. <laughs> I love this. Super fun. I got two of those because I'm a little undecided if I want to do the entire angel robe in the boa or not. So got two because you know how it is in Tuesday morning. Um, it's not always going to be there. And then finally, the two paper pads that I picked up by Martha Stewart. These are awesome. This one is called, I think, Seasonal. There's the skew. Ugh, my steady hands. There's the skew. And I love, love, love this paper pad. So these are all the different patterns that come in it. And of course, I would do a flip through. It's double sided. So you get a double flip through. Oh, OMG. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I didn't cut the pad open. Silly bean. I did actually, but it was just the one side. I tell ya. Sometimes I have to wonder, where's my brain at? I think it's in the kitchen in the freezer. <laughs> Let's try that again. Here we go. Okie doke. So that would be winter. That would be kind of Christmassy, holiday-ish. And it looks like you get two of each one. Oh, definitely Christmas. Do you see that? Gingies. Oh, there's Santa. There's Santa. More green for the holidays. Peppermint candies. 
Oh, there's the fall. More fall. And it's not double-sided. I think it's the other paper pad that's double-sided. This one is not, so I apologize for the misinformation. Here's pumpkin. So we have more fall. Halloween. Of course, Halloween. Look at how cute this one is. Super cute. Love this. Kind of has a bit of a vintage vibe. Check out this bony fella here. What up, bones? <laughs> here we have a spider web. Uh, red, white, and blue. Fourth of July. Gold. Here we have more fireworks. Love that. Spring, summer vibe. Gingham right there. Pink. Easter. See the bunnies and the little chicky. Oh my gosh, I love this. Um, St. Patty's Day. Aw, oh, Valentine's. More Valentine's and more Valentine's. So that is the seasonal paper pad, 12 by 12 paper pad. And it is single-sided. So there will be only the one flip through. And here again, look, I opened... My gosh, I just cut the one side. I must like have half a brain or something or just half thinking tonight because I only half did what I was supposed to do. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, this one for sure is double-sided. This one is called Woodland Birds. It is a woodland bird. 12 by 12. There's the skew. Oop. Can we see that? And this is gorgeous. Here's the front. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. How pretty is that? This is beautiful. Look at this. You fussy cut that out, you can make an awesome card. Here we have two birdies perching. And look at this, I love this. It has some glitter texture to it, beautiful. Let's flip the other side. Oh wow, awesome. Very nice. Very nice, love that pink. It's like a very dusty pale pink. Oh, beautiful. So gorgeous paper pad. That is my entire purchase from Tuesday morning. Yep. Sorry. I was just doing a little cleaning. I'm a little obsessed with keeping my, my uh, craft mat neat. So anytime I see like something hanging around on it, they shouldn't be there. I get distracted. It's like, you know, a go fish. You see something shiny, it's like, ooh, you're attracted to that something shiny. I see something dusty or like that shouldn't be there on my desk. I get totally sidetracked and attracted to that. But anyway, that's just my mental problem, not yours. <laughs> Thank you, my friends, for stopping by and visiting. I truly do appreciate it. And I hope you'll visit me again. Until next time, bye-bye.